Good morning, brother. Kimber? Kimber, yep. Kimber. Nice sweet girl. Go on. Kimber, you ready to go fishing? When is she not ready? Hey. Hi. Good, Good to finally meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Ready to catch some fly? I'm ready. Yeah. All right. We got a far run. We going? Uh, we got about six miles. It's not too bad. You want me to put the rods in those holders? Yeah, if you want to, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, you know, so you're laughing there. to yourself in the background, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> now you're making me, I don't know, two of my hands. Uh, what? Uh, What's up everybody? Welcome back to Field Trips. So I finally left Michigan after extending that for a week, spending time in the Upper Peninsula. I find myself down in Wisconsin, you guys. We are in, or Wisconsin, I can't do the accent at all, but we are in Door County, Sturgeon Bay, Green Bay, this beautiful, beautiful morning here, and I'm with some rock stars. Hi. Caitlin Woodward, Josh Woodward. Josh here is a guide. Wait, you're, where do you get? Pretty much northern Wisconsin in Vilas County. Okay, um, nice, like inland lakes and stuff up there? Yeah, all, all inland lakes up there. Well, you might think you're driving me insane, but I make the game that you're trying to play. So he guides for bass, musky, walleye, pretty much like anything that swims up here. I've been following Caitlin online for a while. She's a rock star in her own right. And we're out here today, we're gonna do some walleye fishing in a legendary, legendary fishery. We may take a break later, do some smallmouth, kind of around lunchtime. We may even do a shore lunch. Is that, yeah, that yep. might do a shore lunch. Oh, yeah. Walleye. Assuming we get on some, some walters, as Caitlin calls them. This is only my second time to ever target walleye on purpose in my life. The first time was on Erie like a month ago. I'm excited. I'm excited. I think we're going to learn a lot today and hopefully bring back some delicious fish for dinner. These are planer boards, yeah? Yep. yep. So basically what we're doing starting off this morning is we're pulling uh, crankbaits. We're going to be going about two miles an hour and then uh, we're running six rods. So here we can each have three rods. Uh, but we're just going to start off with six, pulling them on planer boards just to keep them all nice and separated. And right now we're over about 40 feet of water, hoping to pick up some suspended fish, and then we're just gonna kinda ease our way up onto this reef. Nice. So these fish are suspending this time of year more often than not? A lot of times they'll suspend, and then during low light conditions, they'll pull way up on the reefs, but oh, you always yeah. have some suspended fish out here. I've heard that before. And usually they're bigger fish. Yeah, nice. From my experience, the ones that usually suspend, and they're uh, usually more willing to bite. I've heard that, that like at night a lot of times the walleye will come up shallow because their eyes are... What kind of depth do these things dive? So it all depends on what we're setting on the line counter. So we're just going to kind of stagger the water column. So we're having everything going from about 10 feet down to about 25 feet down. Okay. You I usually work. like, I like oh, to do this kind of side. This, so. <laughs> I always get Strong left, side. Gets right. Strong side. And it's then uh, the other thing we'll do too is this is actually lead core line. Mm. So that helps us achieve our depth. So this crank bay right once. here on its own would only dive about six to eight feet. Right. So with the lead core, uh, we have different colors on it. So this is called three color lead core. So for every color that we put out, we're gonna get about five to six feet down. Yep. So with three colors out, be running about you know 15 to 18 feet down plus the, the dive curve of our crankbaits. Gotcha. What's my next set of numbers? 75. You guys are just a well-oiled machine. Oh yeah? So that is a suspended walleye, Josh thinks. Exactly what we're Whoa. looking for. <laughs> Josh knows, I beg your pardon. About right mid-water column. Yep. Or it's a giant catfish. Or it's a giant, a giant catfish. catfish. I'm running 75. <laughs> so these planer boards, you can see that the water pushes them out away from the boat. We're gonna be running three on each side. We got these little flags on them so you can see them. But that's how we're getting this spread out so that we're not crossing lines when we turn and whatever else. These will go up on the reef and those will kind of be on the edge. Nice. No, that's cool. This is a just totally foreign and new way of fishing to me. It's pretty new to us, to be honest, but we just picked right up on it. We've always 
said casting people, but I swear we're, I said we must be getting old. We're turning. Into, <laughs> we rather just, this is way more. This is way more efficient. Just yeah. Have a beer and watch your lines. You can have three versus one. Right. I like so the this. Time and place. Well, especially if you're like just trying to get, you know, fish back for the freezer or for dinner or whatever. Mm. All right, got the lines pretty much set. We're running over this reef. We got every part of the water column covered. Let's see if we can get on some fish. Can't beat these conditions right now. This is delightful. So if like a walleye takes this, it's gonna pull drag? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it may or may not. So what are we kind of looking for on the on these planer? Orange, yeah, on the planer, on the orange boards, you'll see the flag. The flag will be so or, very, it'll disappear. Yeah, if it's a big fish, it's just going to drop. Yeah. Yeah, okay. and then these will just they'll drop back in line when they load up with weight. Okay. Cool. That makes sense. Uh-oh. Drama. <laughs> yeah, she was right. <laughs> she was right. <laughs> it is super dramatic. So one of our planer boards just came free. Popped, the line popped out of it. it. You said new pads it needs? Yeah, the board rescue mission. Is it all commence? Just do like a wide turnaround. You got an eye on that board? Yeah. No. But I did a second ago. Well, all right, do it over again. All right, guys, so one of the planer boards slipped free, like right as we get all the lines in, we reeled all the lines in, went back, Josh dropped a pin on his GPS, and we just cannot find this thing, which I would be in disbelief, but this has happened to me so many times. This bright orange thing floating on the surface, you'd think it'd be so easy to spot. It's calm out here, and we just drove all around where it, where it plops off, and it's, she gone. But it sounds like they got a backup. I did not realize these planer boards are $50. Bummer, it's gone. But hopefully, fish gods are about to repay us with an epic bite. And let them go past. Oh, fit. oh, oh. Yeah, is there some there? Yep. Man, that didn't take long at all. First fish on. Drama. Drama. Let's just, we've, hope, we've... It's, let's just hope it's not a catfish or a drum. <laughs> I'm feeling some good head shakes. All right, guys, well, we've been, I mean, after the planer board mishap, we've been fishing for all of like 45 seconds with all the lines back. First fish on, first fish on. Caitlin's bringing it in now. Let's see what we got. Do you want to fight it? No, no, no. Hopefully an eater. Yeah. What's the minimum? 15. 15 inches? Same as, same as Erie. We just don't want to keep one too big. I think we call it anything over 24, we usually let go. Yeah, I like that. The yellow board is always my good luck board. board. Always. Yellow's the hot board. board. Yeah, this is a heavy fish, dude. This might be a catfish. <laughs> well, or it might be a record walleye. Yeah. It's feeling they're, really heavy. They're all going to feel big to me because you got to fight the planer board, too, as you're bringing it in. I'm not used to that. All right, Salmon getting close. Thing. Caitlin says it feels heavy. Let's see what we got. So now Caitlin's got to back up, bring the rod tip up so that Josh can take this planer board off. Now she's free to the fish. Now I'm fighting the fish alone. Yeah. Jesus, it's Something good, huh? Yeah. Or something big at least, may not be good. <laughs> ah, man. Intriguing. Man, getting your workout in first thing this morning. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Yeah, I know. Dude, this is a walleye. It's gonna be a stud, I feel like. Just careful you don't put too much pressure on Big walleye? Oh, yeah. What? Oh, man. What? Are you kidding me? Welcome to Green That is a stud. That thing would, like, that just would destroy my PB. What a sick fish. I told you that. Man, you, you said it felt heavy. I was thinking catfish. That is a great fish. I'm gonna call it a 26. 26. 26 inches is her guess. Definitely gonna go 15. This will keep. Yeah, that, that, that's a that's a serious measuring board. Look 25 at that. 25 and a half. 25 and a half. 
Nice work. Look at that. All right. Beauty. Um. God, that took like a minute. Yeah, we're gonna keep this one. Yeah. That's fair. After I said we're in, <laughs> not gonna keep. Yeah, would you say 24? 24, but <laughs> just in case but it's tougher day than we are thinking 20, it's gonna 25. be. 25. Eh, I make an exception. Yeah. Well, now like shore lunch is shored up, so yeah. we can we can let go of the bigger ones after that. Well, guys, I was very hopeful that today was gonna be just one of these days. These two are always posting up just giant epic fish non-stop and here we are I mean a few minutes into the morning after uh, our little debacle first fish of the boat and it would shatter my personal best uh, I think it's gonna be a good day y'all I think we're gonna have some fun today we sure are that's sweet God, he's hot. Too good. Yeah, man. For uh, a 25, man? I why thought... Why did that bite so hard? I th I my, my arm, it hurts really bad. You're up. <laughs> That's a good problem, huh? You're Sore arms. Next. You're up next. Sore arms first thing in the morning. I need a break. <laughs> I thought for sure it was going to be a catfish. Here. I couldn't believe how hard that thing was. Yeah, oh, is that was at that time. <laughs> Welcome to Wisconsin. Can you Wisconsin believe drink at 6 a.m.? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I Victory beer? All right. Nice. So the most important thing is just don't pump. Okay. With these crankbaits, if okay. it's a real big one, you'll end up ripping it out. Okay. It's kind of monotonous, but just just keep stay, your rod like that retrieve. and just slow and steady retrieve until we get that board free. All right. Yeah, just try to keep your rods above kind of as high as you can because you don't want that board to nose dive. Okay. All right, fish on for Rob. Woo! Second fish of the day. Has not been too long. Uh, ooh, that looks pretty fish like. Feels. It looks. Oh, I see it back there. Is it? it looks what fish? What? Oh, it's on top of the water. Why is it on top of the water already? Because it's a catfish. He's thinking it's not a walleye. I was like the king of the drum <laughs> on Erie, so this probably. It's coming in like a literal freight train. Yeah. Skiing him in. Catfish, we could add that to the shore lunch. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Man, once you had walleye. I know, I know. Catfish is... Oh yeah, the board pops in exactly what you said. Oh Not no. Not to let it do it. Oh, there we go. Now you got a good fight. <laughs> yeah. All right, so back up. Let him get at it. Oh, that's a weird one, huh? What is that? Is that, is that a catfish? It's pretty big, I feel like. It's got a funny mouth like a walleye. It's a catfish. It's a, catfish. <laughs> it's a pretty good catfish. You should see it from the catfish. This is gonna be this is gonna be one of the biggest catfish I've ever got, this I feel like. This is probably the smallest one I've seen. Really? They get huge. Like <laughs> That's what we're looking for. <laughs> Man, dude, that's that's probably my personal best catfish right Okay, there. well, Josh, we, Josh is one to quickly just throw it away, so if you want... No, yeah, let me grab it, let me grab it, let me grab it, let me grab it. That's a good... Are these channel caps, or is that a blue? That is a blue. Oh, oh yep, the old death roll. That looks like a blue, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. It looks like a blue to me. All right, well, not the target species. We're pretty sure that's a blue cat, and they get much bigger. Josh is saying this is like one of the smallest ones he's ever caught out here. This is one of the bigger catfish I've caught in a while. I've not, I've never targeted these guys since I was a kid. Yeah, slimy, heavy little bugger. <laughs> now we're looking for. All right. Yep. Bye. See you, kitty. Thanks for the excitement Purple again. Yeah. I'm bleeding. He got me. I know he got me too. Yeah. He had some rough teeth on him. Yeah. I think about, um... Oh, I, I got band-aids and, uh... Nah, it's not that bad. So, if you guys have ever seen these guys go noodling for these catfish, the not, smart ones... Not these guys. The, the smart ones wear gloves, and you can see why. When that catfish rolled, uh, their mouth is, like, really, really rough. Sandpaper, way worse than a bass, and got Josh here. He's bleeding. It also broke the split ring on our crankbait, and now Josh is trying to get that repaired. Damn pesky catfish. <laughs> that thing got the better of us. 
All right, so we're going to switch up one of these presentations to a crawler harness, short for night crawler harness. This is basically just a little spinner and a hook that you put a put a worm on. Pretty stable walleye presentation, something I've never used. It's like the tried and true method. Yeah. Gotta have purple on Green Bay. Gotta have purple. Are you being serious? Yeah, yeah. for real. Yeah. Purple hooks? Purple anything. Not purple hooks. I don't know. That's something new I'm going to try. <laughs> I made him buy those. <laughs> I was like, well, they love purple. Why not? We were, they had like a I've never purple. seen purple hooks in my yeah. whole life. They had a bunch of different colors at the store. So I was like, well, you know, purple works this good at. The, uh, That's funny. I did notice we have a lot of purple in our crankbaits. So that's a Green Bay thing, huh? Yeah. So that's weird. I wonder we why. I haven't gotten any, anything else. I mean, like, it'll be purple all day. Purple. Purple and gold. Oh, you got crawlers for days. When it's on it, you can go through a lot of night crawlers. So just kind of hook them through the nose. The nose. Just <laughs> like that. Man, it's got like a little stinger there. hook on it. So slick. So weird to me. <laughs> but I know they work. Everyone talks about crawler harnesses up here. Are we doing a drop weight? Yeah, we'll do a snap weight, so go 25, uh, 25 feet. So, you know, very natural presentation. A lot of people don't know this, but night crawlers can actually swim like seven miles an hour. Uh, it happens all the time. <laughs> I didn't know that. I'm joking. That's <laughs> Whoa, it's a joke. I'm like, what the? <laughs> You're, <laughs> She's like, really? Like, no, it makes no sense to me why a fish would look at this flashing, wriggling worm, other than the fact that it's got a lot of action and it's got some scent. It, it smells and tastes like food. But other than that, I don't know really why any fish eats night crawlers because you've never heard of. I don't think night crawlers twitch around in the water like like some people think. They aren't they, swimming seven knots an hour. I don't think they can swim seven knots. No, sorry, Caitlin, didn't mean to Damn, <laughs> mislead you. It's too early for that. <laughs> we all did get up at three a.m., so we'll give Caitlin a pass on the night crawler top speed joke. <laughs> God, I feel like such a blonde right now. <laughs> uh, when you look at the rig on in your hand, it like makes no sense. Yeah. But then you see it in the water, and I get now why that would get hit. Oh. It is weird though. I mean, looking. Oh, so this is that's a snap weight you're talking about, huh? Yeah. yeah. So that's this is kind of a sort of improvised type of downrigger. Yep. It's just a lot easier than a downrigger. Less less mess. And that's gonna get that crawler harness down because that thing won't dive at all on its own. It's all right. What's my number after 25? 40. Oh, oh wait. 40 in addition to? No, sorry. Uh, 15 feet. Oh yeah. All right. Fish on. Been a little bit of a lull as that sun's gotten up. We got some going. Number three. It's really your turn. No, it's your turn. We need to catch you walleye. <laughs> it's probably a cat. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I didn't bring the board down. It's not on top. It's not riding the waves. It's probably a goby. <laughs> right, we got something small on this. This is the one that was far back. Now this is one of the cranks. That should be a crankbait. I'm gonna have you step back now. Watch that water go behind it. Yep. Keep reeling. Crawler harness. Crawler harness. Caitlin's been saying that that was going to be the ticket. Oh, did it pop off? It just popped off. Yeah. No, it did. <laughs> Damn it. It's definitely a goby, for sure. Goby? Oh, I felt that goby head shakes. <laughs> no, it was probably a, heavy. Probably a walleye. Oh, they, Josh is calling you out. <laughs> is they don't fight. What? Like they don't, they do not fight on these crawler harnesses. Really? So like, that could have we, been a we've got trophy this, walleye. Well, like Caitlin, we well they sometimes they don't fight till the end of the boat. So they weird. get to the boat. <sighs> Bomber City, did it break? Let's check no, this. No, it's, it's, there. There. it's there. Wait, let's check to see if it took a hook. Damn. Purple hooks. God, I didn't slack. I don't know what happened. It didn't feel like a slack. It looked point. like it just popped right off. Like yeah. it just, you know, hook, must it just happen. not have been hooked good. All right guys, so it's been a little bit of a lull, but we predicted this, but it's been about two hours without a bite, and then we finally just got a bite, and your boy Rob here screwed it up somehow. Fish pulled, came loose. We're gonna take a break, we're gonna head back in, 
Kaylin and I are gonna cook up this walleye that she caught. She's gonna show me her go-to recipe. We're gonna do a little bit of a shore lunch, something I've never done before. I think it's gonna be cool. But they've both been telling me that the evening bite is really when the walleye heat up. Everything gets hotter when the sun goes down. It's where it's at. Yeah, yeah. So we just pulled in all the lines. We're gonna run back in, cook us up some fish. It's gonna be fun. We got a little camp stove, cast iron skillet. She's gonna Short show lunch. us, she's gonna show us her recipe. Lime and Yeah, yeah, all the good stuff. Spread. So what do you do for Lonnie Google? Uh, like pour beer. <laughs> nice. Do you get the hook up on beer? Oh yeah. All yeah. the beer I ever want. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Well, that right there. <laughs> Sign me up. Yeah, so we plan on doing this lunch down by the water, kind of a traditional shore lunch, but it's hot, it's crowded, there's a ton of people down there. So we just drove a couple hundred yards and we're essentially like squatting on a tent campsite right now, but we're only gonna be here for like 45 minutes, so. No big deal. No one's using it. I convinced him. Yeah, yeah. So if we get arrested, it's gonna get. So first, I want to talk about these cheeks. Yeah. Some walleye cheeks. These sweet, Did Josh sweet get them? cheeks. Yep, yep. That's my man. So a lot of people don't know this, but the cheeks are really, to me, the best bite of fish on any fish. It is tender, juicy, really any animal. Check One 25-inch walleye makes that much food. That's a ton of fish. Yeah. That's crazy. And we're doing it in the cast iron skillet, which is the way to go, always. I'm gonna mix the beer batter with the beer and this little thing. And then you just, just whisk it till there's no clumps, yep, basically? whip it up. And then I'm gonna make fish soup, essentially, with that batter. <laughs> and then once the oil's hot, it goes in there and voila. That's Easy it. enough. Magic. This is the way to do walleye, too. It's the last, the only other walleye video I've ever done. I cooked them up. Kind of a non-traditional way in a pan with a bunch of vegetables on the grill or you could do it in the oven and i did that on purpose because like everyone fries walleye but really this is the way to do walleye and this stuff the shore lunch batter i had never seen it till i was in ohio it's really kind of a regional staple up here so it's cool i feel like i'm getting like now the like quintessential authentic. yeah authentic walleye experience i'm excited for this this is gonna be good and we're using some line and kugel and drinking some line and kugel if you've never had this beer, it's delicious. I, we used to love it back in college, down, even down in Texas. The stuff is delicious. We are drinking Wisconsin Blee. Cheers. 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 This is like, you know you have to have a side, right? Right. So this is like my uh, camping go-to. Uh, Fish and spaghetti is. <laughs> just, <laughs> hand in hand. <laughs> it's just like the perfect camp meal. Like peas and carrots. Yep. Walleye and SpaghettiOs. Yep. Guys, I did not know what she was about to whip out of that bin, <laughs> yeah, well, but SpaghettiOs was your, not even... What was your best guess? I didn't know. I really didn't know. That maybe like beanie weenies or... I knew it was gonna be something like that, but SpaghettiOs? That just threw me for a loop. All right, well, we're gonna take the camera off for a minute because I'm troubleshooting this and we'll come back. <laughs> we may be rubbing two sticks together here in a minute, folks. I heard a lot of clicks coming from this grill. I knew something was up. Yeah. But that's like a safety type of thing or something. It's like, now push it down. Nice. Now we gotta get the thing in there now. Okay, did, it, did it like free it up or not? Yeah. So now I'm hearing it flow. Yeah, it like. sounds good. Yeah. Fucking engineering degree to. Woo! We have fire! <laughs> I was really starting to think like, well guys, we're having walleye sashimi, it turns out. <laughs> uh, and if you don't know, the best way to test your oil is to drop in a little bit of your batter, whatever you're using, just on its own. Ready for our <laughs> sweet cheek appetizers. Ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's what you're looking for. If it's not aggressively sizzling as soon as you drop it in, it was not hot enough. Oh, those look perfect. Yeah, this is gonna be, oh, this is gonna be good. Golden brown walleye cheek nuggets. Gosh, this is gonna be good. This is our appetizer. I'm really excited for this. <laughs> it smells so good, actually. Oh, what do you got here? What's this And then This is the secret sauce. Ooh. Garlic salt. You can never have fish fry without garlic nice. salt, ever. Duly noted. That's gonna be delectable. All right, here we go. Ooh. 
<laughs> Look at it bubbling. Yeah. I think, I don't know. I've, I've never known if you should like pop that. I never do. No. Josh said then the oil penetrate the fish. Mmm. <laughs> kind of only, I usually just do four at a time or else it cools the oil down too much. All right, Josh is back from the store getting more beers. He's the real MVP. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go help him. That is what you're looking for, ladies and gents. Golden brown. My mouth is watering. This is gonna yeah, be so let's good. Let's cheers to this. Yeah. Let's try this little. Well, sweet nugget. cheeks. <laughs> sweet cheeks. Sweet, sweet cheeks. They're still so hot. Are they? Let's wait a second. No? Go for I'm it. I'm going for it. Going for it. <laughs> That's freaking good. Mm. Uh huh. That's so good. Cheeks, you guys. If you're flame fish and throwing away the cheeks, you're screwing up oh big my time. God. The garlic salt. You're right. Uh huh. You're right. Isn't that the best? It's a little hot. You guys, that's phenomenal. It's one of the best bites of fish I've had in a while. I'm about to devour it. We, we, have, we were looking at it like, this is so much fish. <laughs> so Josh doesn't like fried fish. Not that he doesn't like it. He loves it. Just doesn't kinda, like him. Kind of messes with him a little bit. So the more for us, basically. Sorry, Josh, but now we've got like six pounds of walleye meat we're about to dig into. Those are good. And I'm starving. This is going to be, yeah, that was such a good bite of food. Yeah, I've got the cooler here. God, this looks like... Sexual, these fish fillets turning over. I've been it. So I want, good. To, I want this to be the best fish fry you've ever had in your life. I'm so excited for this. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're looking for. Golden brown, crispy but light and airy and fluffy at the same time. I feel like a magician right now. Like this is perfection. It's this walleye wizard. Yeah. Walleye wizard. I mean, it doesn't get better. <laughs> Let's be honest. Oh, it's yeah. a fish. Was swimming, well, really in the live well, it was swimming like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> We're just doing it like all Wisconsin up right now. I love it. That's how we roll with the woodworks. Oh, Woodward it. fishing, I mean, it's like an experience, <laughs> a whole Wisconsin experience. I love it. I love it. Drinking and eating Wisconsin bleed. In bleed. That's tough to. Say. Wisconsin. <laughs> Wisconsin. <laughs> I just keep kind of mumbling at the end. Kimber, you want some fish? This is the kind of fish cooking that even if you tell me I don't like fish, it's like, yeah, but try this. There's right? just no way. Someone could eat this and be like, ew, impossible. <laughs> Literally impossible. It's funny, it looks like a beignet or like some kind of I know, fancy it really like poofed. French dish. Yeah. They really, really, they really poofed. <laughs> Technical term. Wait, leave that for Rob. I don't care. I don't need a fork. It's yeah. off fish bag. Damn it, I forgot. Uh, no, it's, I don't need a fork. I don't plan on using a fork. I don't plan on it. No, take it. I don't need it. I don't want this. It's too hot. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks amazing, looks honey. Good. Holy heck, that looks good. I feel so guilty eating this without Keely. I noticed that the walleye specifically, it comes off in like layers. The meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but like more than a lot of fish, I feel like, comes off in these like very distinct like little sheets. I'm just gonna go for it. Probably gonna get this. It's hot. Probably the best fish you ever had though. Damn, that's good. See, that's, that's so exactly good. what I do when I, I'm like, Oh my God, that's so good. good! Like, sorry, I'm swearing so much, but nah, it's, it's, I'm it very is, passionate it is, about this. It is worth the passion. It's good, that's fantastic. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God! Like it's so hot, it's hurting me, and I don't like. It's worth it. How's that it hurts so, so good? good. It hurts. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see this, but. The walleye breaks off into these like little sheets, very uniformly. Even when I did it in the oven or on the grill last time, it's like a very, I mean, a lot of fish flakes. It comes off in layers, but the walleye, it's just mm. very, very distinct. You can see these individual layers. Mm -hmm. It's hard to notice that when you're just stuffing your face with it. <laughs> mm. 
God dang it, that's good. I've become a master. You are the walleye wizard. No, Kimber. Kimber's on guard on duty. You guys, if you got people that are picky about fish or don't want to eat fish, cook them for it this way. There's no way anybody me. could eat this. Yeah. <laughs> Put Caitlin on the job. This is incredible. Like, I don't care if you like fish or not. There's no way you cannot like this. And it's so easy, too, really. Yeah, like, it is. very few ingredients. I mean, we're able to do it sitting here on the picnic yeah. table. It doesn't get easier. Yeah. And the fact you don't, I mean, just the, the beer and the fish is the, on the batter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three yeah. things. Oil. All uh, right. Four things. <sighs> Cast iron. <laughs> Cast iron. A stove. Some, some tongs. Some I tongs. Mean, pork, easy. Garlic salt. You can do it with a fire, though. I mean, yeah. Easy. I mean, the. Yeah, I have some. Or no, I didn't, I didn't put any in there. Oh, yeah, yet. there's well, still there's only half in there. There's only four left in here. I put them in the worm bucket. <laughs> Josh uh -oh. brushed it on the way. Yeah, I, was, I was like, damn, well, if you didn't put it in the cooler, then. The way here. You did some. <laughs> just pounded a cooler. You always seem so concerned. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was like, wait, well, what do you mean there's none on ice? I was planning on putting them, and then I like totally forgot. <laughs> I decided, when I saw to, that fish. decided to shotgun six beers and drive back. <laughs> It's like, bro, morning. you weren't gone very long. Bad morning at work. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Thank you guys. You're so welcome. For just everything. Josh and I used to be big time like bass fishermen, but anymore nowadays we are turning into hardcore walleye anglers. And it's just, I think it's because we grew up and we've done so many years of bass fishing. Right. It's just walleye is new and exciting and, and you can eat them. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can eat bass, but. Yeah, no. Nah. It's kind of frowned upon. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm going to at some point I in have. the near future do a smallmouth catch yeah. and cook. Smallmouth, they're not bad. What a perfect lunch. Like, God, look at that. Eating what you're harvesting. Yeah. Halfway through harvesting them. Look how perfect of a bite that is. That looks good. Oh. I want to eat more. God, that was good. That's so good. You like our fish? Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> he usually complains about this. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Yeah. Fishing has like ruined me on like grocery store fish. I just like won't do it anymore. I just won't oh, buy fish at the grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> That's when you know it's good when we're mm -hmm. all just like suffering through it anyway. It's like, ow, ow. That's a big ow. meaty piece. Do you want mm -hmm. me to have that one? Or you, this one's uh -oh. amazing, flaky. Okay. okay. <laughs> Josh likes those big meaty pieces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, normally you squeeze lemon on your fish, like mm -hmm. having this summer shandy, a little like lemony type of beer. I feel like it's a good compliment, a little citrus. God, if we just had some SpaghettiOs, we'd be in business. <laughs> right, I know. <laughs> Only if. <yes. laughs> Should I, do you want me to cook them up? <laughs> no. It's, it seems, it's usually like yourself. a camping thing that I do. <laughs> Rob, that last piece is all you. I don't, I don't know. I can't do it. And I know Josh This is my third one. Like, yeah. Is that your tummy I just heard? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. I'm fine. No, I'll be fine. <laughs> well. No, I will if you have to. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> a rumbling. And he doesn't handle beer very well either. This is a Man, bad recipe. I feel like a bad influence. No, I it's just all your vices yeah. out here. <laughs> His stomach is going nuts. I don't be, oh my God. I'd be fine. You gotta go to the bathroom. I took my medicine. Okay, you should probably go to the bathroom. We got the live well. I don't have to. Right. Right. We'll do the trust bowl. All right, guys, well, that was delicious and heavy. I'm about ready for a nap, but no time for napping. We got fish to catch. From the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long, till I'm back in the pond. So the whole reason we were taking a little break is because the bite's been tough. Like, all the boats out here ski-daddled, middle of the day, but Caitlin's feeling super optimistic right now. She's also about to pee, so I'm not gonna film her. <laughs> but the conditions, we got some cloud coverage now. Not much, we got like a thin haze over the sun. That's gonna be good. Remember, we're looking for just less visibility down the water. These fish are just spookier when they can see so well. At the same time, it's slicked out. I mean, it was already calm, but it's like a mirror now. But we're feeling good. We're gonna get back to walleye fishing, back to task at hand, back on mission. See if we can't get some of these tasty critters to the boat. I can still like taste the deliciousness. I'm hoping to take a few home tonight. We'll see what happens. See what happens. Lines are going down now. <laughs>
And then uh, you said put a little slack in there, huh, Josh, yep. before that second clip? So we want a little slack in there so the line can play. So they were saying this flag would dance when we got a, when we got a bite. Goes down. So pressure pulls yeah. the flag. Makes sense. Then you just whip her out there. Will this be the far one, Josh? That will be the far one. So let her out of good ways, huh? And really for this, you like almost have to have a reel with a line counter on it. Cause that's gonna be how you kind of determine how to set these up, how far back to put them behind the right. planer board, et cetera. So as you guys know, I just love learning new ways to fish, new techniques. And trolling is something that I think on the surface seems like a simple way to fish, but this kind of trolling, there's so much going on. We got six lines, they're spread out so far. We're here on a Saturday and the weather's gorgeous. So there's a ton of boats out here and we're trying to weave through and Josh is trying to get on the line that he wants, hit the reef where he wants to hit it. But there's so much traffic, it's something I never thought about with these planer boards. We've got like a hundred feet to either side of the boat that we've got lines running and so does everyone else. So you can't like skirt right up against anyone or risk just a nightmare of a mess. But uh, pretty crazy. It's like a lot's going on. It's a lot of work to reel all this in, to pick up and move. There's a little bit more strategy to all this than typical trolling, I'd say. Ah, uh, the old sheephead. They're cool. They're cool to me. Like I've only ever caught maybe three drum in my life. <laughs> Look at that. Largely considered a nuisance around here, but I mean, they put up a fun fight, and I yeah. guarantee you, smaller like that, they'd be good to eat, man. Yeah. I think they just have a lot of bones. Yeah, I was gonna say, they're probably like a sucker or a carb right it's after. A curry. Like, I mean, them. yeah, yeah, maybe do them whole. All right, we've been waiting for it to turn on, and we gotta fish on, sounds like. It can be tough to tell with these planer boards. There's a lot of drag on there, but. Right. Yeah. You get free of the fish, all of a sudden it starts taking off. We'll see. Oh no. Oh, Drum. <laughs> yeah, the that. Spicy little buggers. Not the target species, but hey, it's been slow with these conditions and a little excitement. Bye. See you, buddy. It looks like a walleye. Where? Yeah. Where? That's Dude. the littlest walleye I've ever seen in here before <laughs> in my whole life. <laughs> Smallest. Green Bay walleye they've ever seen. Maybe that's a sign of things to come. Maybe the bites yes. turn back on, you know? Yeah. Hey, it's a walleye! Good sign. Okay. It's the right kind. Uh-oh, board. It's not it's the right size. Out. Oh, we ain't done yet. Action's heating up. Rock bass, dude, the mighty rock bass, yeah. as Oliver Nye calls them, and they're actually delicious. Purple. Purple and gold. Purple. Rock bass candy. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here. It's golden hour, we've been waiting for it for hours. And one of the boards just took off, but we're not sure. We're not sure. It's tough to tell until we get this hardware off the line. Oh, it's a fish. It's a fish. Yep, yep. Oh, tugging. Now we talking. Feels like a walleye. Ah, we've been waiting. God, we knew they had to start firing. Oh, sheephead. No, you're kidding, right? It's a drum. That's a drum. Pretty good one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, maybe everything's starting to bite. Man, this is rough. It's that time of day. We're in golden hour now. Don't despair. Golden Ooh, sheepies drum. and golden hour. Come on, Rob. For the kitchen cook now. <laughs> Fish on, ladies and gents, here at the golden hour. And we just saw it thrash on the surface back there. Yeah, that shakes. It Go feels, Rob. feels like a catfish. Dude. If you want to drop back. Watch Kimber. It's, uh, it's a big fish. I'm trying to keep it up. <laughs> there you go. There we go. We got something big on you guys. We don't think it's walleye. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Oh. She's running to the right. Oh, she's tugging. Got the like catfish death roll. Head shanks. What is that? It's not a blue. It looks like gold. Yeah. Isn't that channel cat? Yeah. Uh, huh, nope. 
Don't lose my trophy, bro. <laughs> nice. What happened? Dude, that's one of the biggest cats well, I've caught in a while. Like, back. You know how to reach out. Was there some drama? Yeah, like right as you reached for it, she did the old alligator death roll and about evaded the, oh, the net. There you go. Hey, Rob. That is the biggest cat. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Sorry. I apologize to the group. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Oh my oh, god, shit. okay. Now you're just playing with it, Rob. <laughs> Drop it once. Got her. You think that's channel cat? Yeah. Blue catfish, channel catfish, still not what we're looking for. But uh, like fifth, sixth species on the day. Never gonna, trolling for walleyes like a box of chocolates, you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> it's a strange, very strange looking Honestly, catfish. Honestly, like, my grandma would beat me senseless if she knew I was going to throw this thing back. No way. Get it. Get it back. Kayla's not a catfish person. <laughs> Sweet though. You're not a walleye, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, Grams. Pew. Took off. Georgia Burdell's rolling over in her grave right now. <laughs> honey, now honey, that was dinner. Oh, look how like pink and blue the water is. That is so cool. Yeah, that's not ugly. Well guys, we are out of time. Obviously the walleye were playing hard to get today, but really you're never gonna hear me complaining about a fun day on the water, learning new techniques, and enjoying some fresh fish with good people. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next week.